All right, so today, obviously Danielle's been gone, and she comes back late tomorrow night. Look, house is almost done. It's not painted. Actually, the eaves are painted, and around the windows, painted. Not painted. Painted. It's looking good. Uh, but today, I took all the girls while Danielle's gone, and they all got haircuts. Look at me. And I said, "Mommy's not here. Anything goes." Look at mine. So Ava chopped ten inches off her hair. Look at mine. Look at mine. Hers is all the way down here. Hers like I got highlights in my hair. You can just barely see them. Mhm. Mm I only wanted a little bit because of my first time. And also, huge news. So Blake's been Blake's been anxious this whole week. She's had volleyball tryouts the last two days, and we were just at dinner, and she gets a phone call from her teacher. And what happened today? Um, I made the team. I made the volleyball team, <laughs> and Miss Breward, my teacher, my, my coach for volleyball, she uh, called me and. Uh, told me that I made the team. <laughs> so, super proud of her. She is extremely nervous and she powered through. And so, proud daddy moment for sure. So, I got a call from Blake yesterday and she was just really like needed some encouragement and like words of affirmation and some building up and, um, it's just really tough. It is like such a tough age. She's in seventh grade, school started. Um, and I feel like she's a pretty strong and confident little girl, but there's certain things just like all of us that affect us, um, whether you're 12 or 40. But um, it's kind of the first time I've ever had to like really speak on terms of like, you are enough and you are loved and you are worthy. And like, I just, it's, I just don't, never experience that as like a mom and like having to explain those words. And so, man, I've got, it has made me all emotional, y'all. Like, this is, this is tough. I feel like everybody, I just feel like, well, I wouldn't say everybody, but like, if you know me, you know I'm just like a YOLO and like a, nothing's going to stop me. I'm going to challenge. I'm going to push myself and go. But I also have six daughters who have completely different personalities and different ways that they process and think and stuff. And so like having to let your children experience their feelings and emotions is super prime and important because I don't think that I really experienced that growing up. Um, and I grew up really early and being responsible really early, but, uh, it's tough. It's a tough job to not be able to fix something that your child is experiencing or feeling and not know how to explain it to then, like, my mind just says, push through, go, but not hers. Like, she needs differently. And so, I don't know. It's tough being a mom, guys. <laughs> but it's tough. It's tough being a mom of not just one daughter, but six daughters who will probably eventually experience like all of this too as far as like emotions and hormones and like all the changes and you know middle school is the prime of that and so we're 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 on target for that with Blake and um I'm a fix it all do it all challenge yourself push forward kind of mom and um I've learned that you got to have to let your children cry when they want to cry experience their emotions when they want to experience it which is really hard for me because I'm not an emotional person and so um, it, 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 it is ultra challenging and so guys I could use some prayer for uh, not feeling like a horrible mom right we feel like we want to fix everything I want to go check her out of school I want to give her a hug I want to like take it all away and I literally physically can't and I can't make those feelings go away either but I can uh, lift her up in the word and give her words of encouragement and tell her how much she is loved and worthy and so that is advice I have for you but guys I do need prayer too so please pray for me alright long enough break <laughs> Gotta go back to work. <laughs>